I feel very happy to hear this uh, news about uh, IWA give me a uh, World Award Award. I think this is a word. It's not belong to me. I think this word is belong to our my colleagues and uh, all the number of WA because uh, 2006 I be very happy to choose a president of uh, water conference. I working for WA and learn a lot from WA. I think about. Uh, WA as a, a biggest organization for water issue is so successful and uh, helping the developed countries, especially like China, uh, learn a lot, uh, some mature technology, uh, some lessons, uh, uh, some uh, policies we can uh, choose and we can uh, practice, then we can learn again. I think this is a, a very, very good opportunity for me and a very, very good experience for me. Ladies and gentlemen, dear chairman, I'm very glad to hear. I want to tell you several stories about uh, China urban water issues. The first story is urban water supply. Everybody knows that China urbanization gets a long, long time, maybe uh, 30 years ago. It means each year more than 15 million farmers migrate from rural areas to cities. It also means water supply will be and should be uh, top priority issues for local government. So we put a lot of monies and hard workers, but it's not very successful. In 1980s, only 40% uh, uh, urban residents have been covered by the sanitation water supply. But now, more than 97% urban residents have been covered by sanitation water. It's uh, very successful, but we still long way to go. The second water story is saving water because water resources in China is so limited. More and more people want to live in, in cities. But, you know, as a people getting richer and richer, they want to use more and more and water. So the government and NGO encourage people how to save the water. The water saving policy and the recycling water technology getting more and more mature now. So urban population gets more and more increased. But water consumption is stable in China. This means the capital water consumption declined continually in China. The third story is a quality of water. As some philosophers said, no quality, no quantity. Water quality is very important because most of disease come from the unsustainable and also the unclear water. You know. So that's why in China, sanitation water standard get more and more and strengthens. From 35 terms, 
to 100 systems now. China as a developing countries, but our standard of drinking water very closely to European and the United States. That's a good news. The fourth story in China urban area is how to recycle use the water. Because in China, water resources is so unbalanced between south to north. Most of water resources are located in south, but most of population and mega cities located in coastal line and the south uh, north of China. That's why so unbalanced of water resources of demands. So we need to get balanced. So in traditional way, people always think about uh, dig uh, several canals transfer water from long distance to south to north. But it means waste of a lot of energy. Now we find another way. We call the LID model. LID models means people build a city, a planning city to suck rainwaters, to storage rainwaters and recycling rainwaters and to save water and use some new technology to recycle water one time and another time. So that means uh, water can be used no limited. It's a good beginning, but we still very long way to go. The good story, just the beginning. The last but not least story is how to control the water pollution. Because China is the biggest country for population and also the biggest goods manufacturing countries in the world. That means a lot of factories and a lot of companies have a lot of waste waters come from cities, come from the uh, buildings. So water ecosystem be destroyed. That's very dangerous not only for this generation, but also for next generation. So some cities located in coastline around the Bay Water, but they are getting more and more serious water shortage. This we call the water pollution caused serious water shortage. That's why we put a lot of money and very hard job to push government build more uh, water treatment factories to against water pollution. Until now, the story is successful. More than 87% of the waste water be treatment. But 10 years ago, only half waste water have been tra treated. That means we save a lot of ecosystem to protect the space for next generation. So another way for to control water pollution is emerging system. So we build, established some uh, um, uh, uh, information system to collecting 
uh, more than 1,000 chemical elements and control uh, elements and uh, more than 1,000 pollution cases put together. If we find some place, you know, some uh, pollution emergency issues happen, maybe some come from the transportation uh, accident, or some come from the chemical factory explosions, or some the disasters. So water system be destroyed totally. In that time, our information is very helpful for local government and, and local people. He will teach them to introduce them, how to respond to them, how to deal with them as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever we did successful or some bad lessons, we really, really still have a long, long way to go. Ten years ago, attending uh, IWA conference. This conference so successful. This conference tell us a lot of mature technology and mature uh, water policy. We learn from all the world. So today, we are getting together again, attending IWA conference, water conference again. So we want to see this opportunity to tell the story happened in China. I do hope we can learn from all of you to do something better than now. Thank you.